This is a quick video on the Bosch 1250 DEVS 6-inch uh, dual action orbit sander. Uh, I bought it for really one I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I bought it really for one purpose, which is to, to get this 6-year-old house with um, vinyl siding on it. And uh, little by little, I'm taking off the vinyl siding and sanding off what is uh, pretty well adhered lead paint. And so what I do with the sander, you can see kind of the level I took it down to. Uh, and that lead paint was really on there. I mean, one of the lead paint is, is as, unhealth, as unhealthy as it is, it really does a good job hanging onto the building. So I tried it with a kind of uh, finished three amp orbital sander and it just wasn't up for the task. So I bought online this uh, Bosch 1250. So uh, if my assistant could come here and hold the camera, I could uh, kind of show you a couple of features of it. Um, so the dual action is triggered by the, um, the lever there, here, and as soon as I hand the camera over, okay. Um, so this shows you the two different gradients there. This is on the standard orbital sander. And you flip it there, and that's the what, what uh, Bosch calls the turbo mode. And it took me a while to figure out what the difference was. Why? Because it really Bosch claims it has a five times it's five times more aggressive, and I certainly found that that was the case. So what I finally figured out is that the dual the turbo mode is really just a more of a grinder mode. So I'm going to put that piece of tape right there to demonstrate the two different modes. So. Now it's on orbit sander mode, and I'm going to turn it on, and you're going to see that that piece of tape really is fairly random, which is, the I think, the random part of uh, random orbit sander. So here's the on-off switch here. So if I turn it around, I can kind of control it like that. Now, if I switch it to the aggressive, uh, you're going to see that tape rah, 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 like that, and I can't grab it. So it's really more of a grinder at that point, and holy cow does it work as a, as a good sander. Uh, Bosch gives you this, uh, and it kind of explains why they give you this handle here. It can go on either side, and it, it, make, it makes it more kind of that grinder handle. Uh, I find I didn't, I left it on there, but I found that I used it more as a, just to carry it around more than actually to use it during, um, during use. Uh, one thing I really appreciated about it was it has this, um, uh, uh, speed gauge here, so you can, um, var it's variable speed, and what I found was that when I first started running at a high speed, this is, this is off another sander, but it quickly gunked up the sandpaper, uh, because it, it, was, it was getting the paint too hot, and what I found is that if you put it on three and a half, I think the higher speeds are more for buffing, but if you put it on three and a half, that's a, a nice sweet spot where it's just aggressive enough to do the job without heating up so much that it's going to melt your uh, paint. Speaking of which, you want to get, if you read the instructions, they'll tell you you want a 14 gauge cable. This is an even thicker 12 gauge. Uh, this is a thicker, even thicker 12 gauge. And to make it, um, so that if you use a too thin of a gauge, it's just going to run hotter than you want it to. Uh, Bosch has its own, they don't have a standard uh, five quarter inch uh, um, vacuum hose attachment. So they gave you, they gave me a mine, which I understand isn't true of all of them, but they gave me this attachment here, which transfers from the Bosch diameter down to this more standard one and a quarter. Uh, if you read reviews online, people complain that it doesn't stay on, and I certainly found that to be the case. So what I did was I got some cable ties, uh, just kind of the standard things here that kind of put in and pull through and I just put one around the back here and two running through and I, that did, did the job so this married with um, do you want to show my shop back there real quickly so that's a, a six amp shop back I got it you certainly want a HEPA filter in it if you're doing any really any kind of paint removal but certainly lead and then you just go this is just a simple attachment there for the shop back plugs in like that. I found that, surprisingly I found that this connection was tight enough to 
to um, stay on during the job. And so what, and I guess the last point is, for paint removal, I'll put a link on for the, uh, uh, this old house video that I thought was really terrific. They were using 24 grit paper for the, um, to take off the paint. Uh, I certainly found that I did need the 24 grit. Wash doesn't seem to sell it. So what I did was I went and I bought, bought standard 6 inch, but it doesn't, doesn't have the Bosch holes on, in it. So what I, what I do, and I was reading this online that other, other guys are doing this too, is I just made a simple template. So I got a top, a bottom, I got two lines on the sides to align to each other, and I just get these, I just put the sandpaper in there, oh, the bottom was like that, uh, I get the sandpaper in there, I take a C-clamp, clamp it shut, and then I just run it, it goes a 5 8 bit, or maybe a 3 8 bit, but whatever hole matches the whole diameter of the standard, so this is the 40 grit paper, and so I'd run that through. And what I found was I'd run the tr I'd run the 24 grit on the grinder mode or the turbo mode, and that did a lot of that took off most of the paint. But then it's it's pr really aggressive, so it starts to damage the um, the cedar below it. And so then what I would do is I'd switch it as I got most of the paint off. I'd switch it to the orbit mode, and that allowed me to kind of take off more, go into along the the edges like. In particular, I found it was hard to grind up under here because what happens is if you hit the if you hit the cedar there, the, the grinder's going to run on you. So I switched it to orbit mode, and that would allow me to get up against trim, get up against there, and just kind of do a general patch. And then I still found that it was re resulting in kind of fuzzy cedar. And then so when I put on a 40 grit, which Bosch does sell, and I just make one last pass to kind of clean it up and do some little kind of finished stuff. So uh, that's it. I love the, I love it. I couldn't have done this job without it. Uh, it really uh, is a great orbit sander.